what do you think more specific to the book or the things that you're focusing on as a program of maybe improving or building upon going into this next year? Well, I think that, you know, one of the biggest kind of um, standouts for me from the culture code book, it, you know, it's probably not a coincidence that the uh, Greg Popovich stuff like really kind of resonated with me, not just because I'm a basketball uh, person, but because you know, Popovich is a coach I've always really um, looked up to, admired, respected the way his teams play the game and the selflessness with which they um, they play and the things that, you know, the way that he's able to accomplish that um, kind of, you know, not a lot of ego, not a lot, you know, in a, in a league where there's lots of ego. So um, I've just really um, had some time to kind of, you know, study some of the things that he does, but um, that's the stuff that really kind of maybe res resonated the most out of this culture code book. And, um, you know, his philosophy that basically it's kind of like, um, uh, I'm going to tell the truth and then love the heck out of them. You know, and, and I'm just, you know, but I think one of the things that the reasons that that stood out for me is just that um, it's you're not just trying to achieve happiness. You know, one passage that was in there that was really just kind of a, a huge just kind of eye opener for me is just kind of this, you know, there's a misconception about highly successful cultures is that they're happy and lighthearted places. And, and kind of in that Greg Popovich section, he said, that's really mostly not the case. You know, the, the highly successful cultures are energized and engaged, but at their core, people are oriented less around achieving happiness than they are around solving hard, hard problems together. And I think, you know, for me and my coaching staff at times, you know, you have to be willing to give high candor feedback and uncomfortable truth telling. And sometimes that's not easy to do. Um, sometimes the easier route is to just kind of, I'll just um, try to sugarcoat it or, or maybe, you know, sweep that under the rug um, because I don't want to feel the discomfort of having to truth tell. But, um, you know, Popovich has really just made an absolute um, uh dynasty of a program off of telling truth, hard truths, and then loving the heck out of his players. And, and, and his response after uh, game six of the 2013 finals uh, was an eye opener for me because, I mean, that was obviously just, I mean, how do you blow a five point lead with 28 seconds to go? I mean, we all watched that Ray Allen shot in the corner that sent it to overtime and it was just the most devastating way to lose a game six when you had the championship just right there in your hand and to watch it kind of go away. But um, in that moment, I really asked myself, how would I have responded after that game? And I can promise I would have probably most likely um, pulled inside of myself, um, been worried about, you know, how that affected um, my attitude, my approach, I would have went to watching film, breaking down, you know, what could we have, you know, called better, done better, you know, as a coaching staff, you know, uh, but what he did was the exact opposite. Um, he went outside of himself, you know, and he, he kept their restaurant celebration. He brought his team in and put them in the center of that group together. He walked around and I, I just thought it was humorous when they said that, you know, he, he looked like somebody kind of worded it as, he looked like the father of the bride at a wedding dance. Like he needed to, you know, talk to everybody and make sure everybody was, you know, but to invest at that moment um, when he could have been pissed off or angry or just, you know, really, um, you know, kind of thinking about what this meant for, for him. He was pouring into his players, and I think it was a really incredible lesson that I pulled, um, something that I know I can do a little bit better and adjust is to figure out in those hard moments is how can I meet my players where they are um, and, and pour into them instead of you know, being so kind of tied and inter internalizing everything. 